All right, it's time to make the the axe, the, the battle axe. This one's a little bit big, as you can see from the uh, size of the uh, staff that I made. It's about double, so I got to take that down uh, about half. About half. Uh, this one is close to the size, but it's not as dramatic as this uh, head is, and I. I think I'm going to do this one. Um, I got to make it out of some uh, material, like maybe cardboard or something first, and then uh, I'm softening up my uh, monster clay to uh, put on top of all that. Time to play with some clay. I'm just getting ready to uh, edit some video from today and I wanted to stop and uh, ask you to do something like subscribe click the bell and make a comment in my videos and check out my instructional DVDs which are linked below this uh, video all right let's get on with today's video all right, I've got the uh, axe head uh, plotted out, and I've got my uh, monster clay ready to go on. I don't know if this is going to work. I'm just uh, really shooting in the dark. But I've got a little few years of knowledge behind me, so I think I might be okay. Again, the reason I'm using monster clay instead of my J-Mac is because it uh, stiffens up nicely and uh, I think it works best for this project. All right, I'm just finishing up the axe head, and I'm about ready to put this onto the uh, body of the Viking. And uh, I need the strength of the uh, connection of the bottom part of this to the figure to uh, give me strength on the uh, head so it's not moving up and down like this. All right. All right, I've placed the axe in place. And uh, I'm just going to touch up with some regular clay because I can smooth it out a little easier than I can the magic clay. I mean, the, the mon magic clay, the monster clay, because the monster clay takes a little more force when it starts hardening up. And uh, it won't matter. I'm going to paint over the clay anyway and uh, it will all look the same in the long run but anyway I'm just uh, 
putting the final touches on it right now and then I'm going to paint it and then I'm going to call it quits for thee so I can get the video out tonight I'm happy the way it turned out where it touches right here on the uh, robe let me uh, turn it the uh, clay a little bit so you can see that's a, a good point for it to connect and that way they can cast this all in one piece I think but uh, I'll figure that out and I'm going to fold back this robe where the helmet is being held by his hand so that I can fill in just a little bit underneath the mask maybe they won't have to cast it separate that all saves money in the long run and uh, you don't want to have the uh, client spending their life savings to buy one single bronze. I know I say this every time I paint, but that's because I have a lot of new viewers who don't know what I'm doing and I'm going to repeat it I took a sample of clay this clay to the local hardware store where they sell house paints and I asked them to match the color of the clay they did and they made up a batch of uh, paint that I put into this jar here and uh, Whenever I use a foreign material like this uh, monster clay that doesn't have the same color as the clay that I use normally, the JMAC clay, I paint it to match the color of the JMAC so that there is no question by anybody as to why is it a different color. Because I have to try to sell off of the clay to make a bronze. And uh, the less questions asked about the structure, the easier it is to talk about the clay instead of what I made it of. So that's the reason why I do this. It's a uh, water-based, water-soluble clay uh, paint. It's an indoor, non-glossy paint. It's a flat finish. And uh, when it dries, it looks just like the clay. The helmet was made of this monster clay and you can see that it already looks like the clay surrounding it. And that's the reason. Alright, that's uh, going to be it for tonight. I'm going to come back uh, Tomorrow and try to work on it just a little bit more. Uh, the the clay has got to harden or stiffen overnight, and uh, then I want to kind of calm down his face a little bit. The wrinkles are a little heavy, and I want to take that back just a little bit. And I'll do that next time. Good night, everybody, and have a great evening and uh, happy sculpting. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.